Hi Roscoe here. I'm going to play with my team Bombs the Spirit. Um, I think I'm kind of playing with Rampus a lot at the moment. Um, I think it's just because I play against a lot of Wicked Souls and Bone Serpents. I'm just kind of perhaps overplaying them. Um, it's hard to tell because there's so many, it's difficult to tell how many I've got on each team. Um, I like this combo because I've got the, the Rot on the Spirit Crab. Essentially this this trio of pets um, counters what I face most regularly in kind of the competitive meta. So Bone Serpents, Wicked Souls with the Rabbit, Ventral Porky Pets with the Rocket Bot, and Terror Claws with the Crab. Essentially this is kind of countering what I consider to be probably the top three pets in kind of the meta that I face. Um, I just hope that I don't face uh, Ebba Crabs is probably the most difficult thing I ever face. So let's hope I don't face any. Um, they're, they're, they're quite rare, I don't face too many so with any luck uh, I won't I kind of hope I don't face too many idols either. Um, it's critter week, so I probably will. Probably will. So let's let's kind of see how I go. Yeah, I think it's in one of Disco's videos. He said that on Walk Off Pets, the idol is really highly rated, and it's why they um, are up there. So I'm gonna start with my rocket bar. Cool, I'm going to start with the sticky grenade. Wow, so he's running the bike. Okay, I'll drop the mines down. Just, just going for the damage, which is a bit, a bit bold. He could be running the blood fang. No. And it's GG for him here. He's probably going to bring in the idol. It does kind of mean that I've got quite a poor matchup. Oh, that, that miss. Is really good. If it's a low hit as well, I could get my minefield down. No, no luck there. I'm just a little bit wary, just in case he goes for a deflection here. No, well I'm going to buff the damage for this anyway. Um, now buff the damage of my rock. Now I kind of quite fancy my chances here. The rot should be off cooldown for by the time, and uh, yeah, he's he's run away. So kind of the the pet I was a bit worried about. Um, it's kind of easily dealt with there. Do this, um, let's um, let's queue up again. See, this this team is doing fairly well. Um, let's just kind of hope for no idols. It's it's essentially the sandstorm that can can hurt me the most. The thing is, you're probably going to be playing up against inexperienced players as well. A dodge. But bad experiences against these kind of whelplings just critting me and hitting me hard. At the start, it also lets me find out what they've kind of got.
I think this is probably going to be... I'm going to take some strong damage for now. we kind of get these debuffs down. He's going to pop his race on this next. Okay. This poor rabbit is going to take a pretty big hit here. Um, I'm going to dodge. I don't want its racial to proc. It's still going to proc off the, the small damage there. This dragon is actually going to cause me quite, quite a lot of problems. So I haven't got a good way to get it down. Um, I'll go for a burrow. Is it? It's not really within kill range of anything. It's gonna heal here. Oh, that was really lucky. Even still, I don't know about my kind of matchups that I've got left. Yeah, I do think my spirit crab is probably going to go down that uh, dragon. I just do don't have the, the kind of the match up there against it. I'll go for my rock. Okay. I'd imagine a grave destruction if he's running it. Cool. I'll buff the. The damage of the sticky grenade. And now my rock. There's just no way I can take down this solo for a forge. I mean, unfortunately, the the kind of the regular meta just has no dragons in. It's, they're just not a thing. Um, because they're just countered so hard by by bone serpents. Yeah, I don't know whether I tried to, I to try to take that down with the the spirit crab would have been the best uh, thing to do. I mean, all you need to do is just hit this one spotty. Yeah, possibly the go with the spirit crab. Um, yeah, I don't know that as a. It's a tough matchup. It's not necessarily that's a good team. It's just that the, the matchup is poor. Um, just dealing with that dragon is just gonna be really difficult with any of my pets. Yeah, possibly this spirit crab. Kind of slowly get it down, but then it have done strong damage against me. I've kind of got no regular attack essentially against it yeah that's tough I don't don't know probably a spirit crab and getting the rot up you got, probably got some some damage off on the um, the dragon, so maybe get the rot up and then buff the damage for the the rabbit to come in.
I kind of think he'll start with the Starlet. So I want to get the Sticky Grenade down. Switch to the Rabbit. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty lucky. Yeah, it's going to be really unlucky for me. It's probably going to be quicker now. Yeah. Um, let's go with the crab. The rabbit's still going to have some value. That crit was super lucky. And he's, he must almost certainly be running explode as his um his other kind of selection. Ah, that's really bad luck. Okay, using that's not too bad. It's gonna give me a chance to perhaps That's gonna be okay. Rabbit's still got some value because it's still quicker. Yeah, that was definitely the right move for him to do. Let's swap to the, the rocket bar. I'll um, put the minefield down here. I'm going to really hope that he's not running flamethrower. Just need to go for damage here. Really unlucky with the the, the hit on on the instability. I'm gonna go for a double hit here. I'm gonna go for the dodge. I'm gonna use my burrow. I think it is um, it's a good game here. So yeah, keeping the, the rabbit alive. It's really kind of paid off. It's really the rabbit's really really strong. Um, so despite kind of his kind of luck there, getting a big crit on it. Probably thought there wasn't much value in that rabbit once it got super low. It's always value, and he even got that 50% hit. Because otherwise, I was getting that minefield down. Um, See, so I'm facing some reasonable teams with this. I mean, the thing is, this this team is really specifically set up for kind of the the real meta, opposed to the kind of the. That the holiday kind of sign of the critter fun meta. It's still going to do well. These are strong pets. The, the rocket bot is a good, a good solid pet. <laughs> it's definitely kind of underused. Yeah, 
this is a strong team. Um, it's hard to know whether the person using it is is good. Cool. I think he might go for his horde now. No. That's fine, I don't mind kind of taking a horn. See if we can get the mines down. Gonna kind of get all this kind of damage onto the, the bone serpent here. Probably needn't have done that actually, should have just gone for the, the damage up front. That's pretty unfortunate. Really uh, unlucky as well. They're on the uh, back. I'm going to kind of hope that he doesn't go for that horn. Now I'm probably going to have the damage to definitely get him low here. Another triple and I actually do take him to his racial. That is super, super unlucky. Um, I will take out the Bone Serpent. It's going to essentially either force a cooldown from the, the Terror Claw or the cooldown from the... Cool, yeah, it's going to force a cooldown from the Terror Claw. The, the hair is going to die here, but I'm confident that the Sweet of Power can get the, the job done now. His racial's gone now. I'm gonna charge up here. You may go for the swap, it's probably the, the smart move. It's actually probably gonna end the draw. That's kind of not really doing anything, it's just prolonging the the rounds. So I'm going to be a draw or I'm going to win. Cool. Really glad to kind of beat uh, a team like that. Solid tier 1 team. Especially how lucky he got with the, uh, the rabbit. 
Um, I'll finish it on that, beating a, a solid kind of tier one team. Um, that's the kind of teams that this is actually set up to to beat. Um, yeah, I mean, every single one of those pets that it beat was tier one. Two kind of the the two best pets on that team in the the bone serpent and the terror claw. Yeah, that the rabbit is a good strong pet. It's the best pet on this team, but I'm running a rocket bar and a spirit crab. Um, it was close. It was really, really close. Um, it, obviously, it was a triple hit away from actually making it a, a lot more comprehensive. I think there's a myth, a darkness miss on the surge, but still getting the win, keeping that win percentage nice and high. Um, Bombs of Spirit is a really kind of solid team. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the, the next video.